Good morning, good morning. <laughs> I wasn't sure when that was going to kick in then. Good morning. Monday again. Oh, it just seems to absolutely fly by weekend. I'm sure the days are no quicker. Uh, well, in fact, we have had one hour that we've lost this weekend. So I suppose that does make it. But this weekend has zoomed by. I hope it's been okay for you. Not much, not a great deal has happened in my life over the weekend, but just, yeah, busy keeping up with, yep. Yeah, Keeping up with work, keeping up with family, keeping up with the household duties. So, yeah, always flies by. I hope you've had a smashing weekend. So, Monday it is. Let's get started on what's going to happen today in your classes. So, don't forget to join me. I am going to be streaming into all of my groups this morning, 7.45 a.m. So, do join me. And today we're going to do a 45-15 workout, a traditional Back, you know, back in the days, we used to do this one a lot, 45, 15 format. So 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. So look forward to that one to clear your space, which I'm going to have to do. Clear your space and, in, and join me for that one. So that will be streaming live into virtual fitness, VIP, and also into real fitness as well. So look forward to seeing you there at those uh, at that class, 7.45 a.m., 15 minutes, no excuses, gang. No excuses. Everybody can join in. And then this evening, I will see you at Club Size at 6 p.m. And then also we'll be at Pilates 7.05 um, at Longwell Green Community Centre. Now, you will need to bring tonight um, a ball and also your stretchy band as well. So that'll be for tonight. I have switched the... Um, the program around a little bit. I was going to do fitness Pilates vibes, but I'm going to put that back now to the end of April. So if you can, we're going to do a stretch tonight, which is definitely what I need. So a nice sort of stretch, but uh, a active moving stretch. Um, um, so looking forward to that, just a little bit different today. So I'll see you there. Please make sure that you book on to both classes and um, yeah, we will have a blast tonight. Looking forward to that. All right, I'm talking osteoporosis. Sorry osteoarthritis, apologies, I was just reading the difference between osteoporosis and osteoarthritis. Osteoarthritis now, yes, I have put that in there. Osteoarthritis is what I'm going to talk about. Um, another, another day for osteoporosis, osteoarthritis. So this is, I'm sure everybody's heard of arthritis. There are different types of arthritis. Osteoarthritis is the most common and affects about 8 million people in the UK, which is a significant amount. And lucky me, I am now one of them. I have just been diagnosed with osteoarthritis in my spine, my hip and my knees. So wear and tear. And, you know, when you first get diagnosed with it, and I probably suspected it for many years, when you first get diagnosed with it, you're like, well, oh, this is it now. This is it. There's nothing I can do. And, you know, it's all that sort of doom and gloom. But, yes, there is ways to manage it. There's no cure at the moment. You know, maybe there, there might be a way. But many people manage it. And then many people manage their symptoms to the point where they don't have any symptoms or very, very rare. So it, it is possible. So bear with me. If, you know, if this is you and I'm sort of at that stage of trying to manage my symptoms um, to help me, but it's it's all about trial and error. It really is about what's going to work for me, what isn't. So definitely I'm trying everything. So it causes pain and stiffness. And as I said, osteoarthritis is the most common type of arthritis. Eight million people in the country. And it is the normal process of wear and tear. So normally it's found in older people. But I like to think that I'm not an older person. So I guess it can affect younger people as well. OK, I'm not that young. But yeah, I'd like to think that I've got a few more years ahead of me. It affects mobility. It affects your mental well-being. My gosh, yes, absolutely it does. It's like, oh, it's just, yeah, doom and gloom. I, I, I felt when I first got diagnosed and when I realised I'm going to have to manage this now for the rest of my life. And if, it can affect your quality of life depending on how you look after yourself and how you manage your symptoms. Um, there are ways to, yeah, prevent which I'm not going to talk about today, I'm going to talk about late, that later in the week, and also ways to manage your symptoms as well, which I'm going to talk a little bit about today. Um, so what does osteoarthritis do? Well, it causes the joints to become very stiff and painful. And again, depending on where you've got your arthritis, depending on you know the, the pain and how you can manage it. If it's in your spine, your neck, your hips, something that you're going to do every time you, you're going to feel every time you stand and move, 
then that's going to affect you more than if some of an area that you can rest, maybe your hands, which you can obviously not rest all the time, but you can um, rest them a little bit more. So um, it affects any joints. The most common joints, as I said, hands, knees, hips, shoulders, spine, more specifically the neck and the lower back. Lower backs where I've definitely caught mine um, and into my hip, which is the worst. My knees, I don't, don't feel it at all. And hopefully that will continue. Affects older adults, as I said, but yes, it can affect and it does affect younger people too. Your symptoms include swelling, tenderness, maybe clicking, cracking within the joints, popping. Um, it can make your joints swell and get bigger. It can make your jo joints become a bit knobbly, lumps. Um, and um, the severity of it does vary from person to person and from joint to joint. It can affect people very, very differently. So let me give you a top tip today on how you can manage it. And this is perhaps a sort of a myth bust here is when people are diagnosed with arthritis, they look, oh my gosh, I must rest, I must do nothing. But absolutely exercise and managed exercise to your condition is absolutely key to keep the joint moving, keep that joint subtle and moving. When I had a discussion with my um, rheumatologist about what I should be doing as a fitness professional, he says, continue. Continue with what you're doing, just have to work out how to manage the pain and stiffness, which is what I am in the process of at the moment. So keep up with your exercise, but make it more bespoke to you. So maybe more mobility, maybe definitely more strength, more walking, perhaps you know, eliminate, reduce that high, high impact, high intensity if you do a lot of that, reduce that. And then just have a diary. Look at your diary of, of what causes more discomfort. You know, what type of exercise causes that? I know what mine is. Um, or what contributes, I should say, to it. Not all the time. Contributes to it. So, you know, I can keep an eye on that. Okay. So look forward to seeing you all this week. We're going to talk osteoarthritis, going to give you some top tips. And we're going to talk about, yeah, all the things around osteoarthritis. Have a great Monday. See you at 7.45 and I will see you at classes tonight. Please, please book on. Thanks, gang. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.